Man, oh man, guys, check out the damage that was caused. That's the pulley, it's completely, completely shot. But I'm gonna try to do it from above, so I'm gonna tear down the front end from above on the C63. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode from Salvage Nation. In this episode, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video, and we're straight back here today. This is the very next day, and I'm gonna be tearing down this front end area right here, sorting out this auxiliary belt. I need to sort out some pulleys in there, and then I'll be moving into the car, and I wanna tear down the steering column so I can have a look at the steering angle sensor and get some part numbers, and then I need to either try to repair it or make an order for a replacement part. So we're gonna be doing that today. But before I continue, I wanna give you an update on some of my other builds. And speaking of other builds, that right there is my 2010 BMW 325i. That was meant to be a quick build, but I've been so busy. There's been so many ups and downs with the channel recently. Um, I had to put that on pause. So let's go check it out. And then we're gonna continue with this car. So right guys, that's my 2010 LCI BMW 325i. It's a three liter, six cylinder, automatic, fully, fully loaded. And if you remembered in the last episode on this, we did all the bodywork on the side. I replaced that door and we're just waiting to take it into the paint shop. It had some damage down the side and it also had some suspension damage, which we took care of. I've got a new alloy coming in the post for this one. And if you remember on this car as well, I did the upgrade of the stereo system and I added the iDrive, have a look. That is now fully coded in, that is fully working. I've got no issues with that right there. Everything works on that. Um, I'm very happy with the outcome. So we're gonna be doing another video on this in the future. We're gonna be getting this car finished because I need to finish off all these little odd jobs before I move on to the Golf R build. The Golf R has actually been sat for about two months now. Um, and I need to raise some funds by finishing off all of these small cars, um, all the other cars that I bought to sell on. And then, yeah, so this car is gonna be up for sale very shortly. So if you know anyone that wants to buy this car, let me know. Drop me a DM, drop me a comment. But back to today's video, I need to tear down the front end on the C63. Hopefully, um, I don't need to take off the front bumper. I'm gonna try to do it from above. So I'm gonna tear down the front end from above on the C63, sort out the pulley, fit the belt, and hopefully that'll get the car running nice and smooth. And then I can continue with the rest of the jobs that I need to do on the interior of the car. So if that's what you wanna see, guys, stay tuned. If you're new here and you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please go down below press subscribe and make sure your bell notifications are on because it will really help the channel. If you're liking this kind of content, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Right, enough talking, let's get to work. bit of elbow grease we've got the old auxiliary belt off um, it's not broken but it's just really really badly damaged um, the good thing about this is when the new one comes I can check you know to see if it's the same size and make sure that it's the correct one but now that I've taken off the top cowl have a look at here I'll show you I believe I've got enough access to remove the broken pulley and hopefully I should be able to replace the replacement pulley right here at the top. So if you look right here, this is the broken pulley right there. That's meant to have a big bit of plastic on it. And if I reach down in here, I believe I can see. Yeah, so look, that's the pulley. It's completely, completely shot. Um, it's not supposed to be like that. The bearing actually, the bearing is not even moving. 
So yeah, that pulley's completely seized up, which caused it to stick. And because it's stuck, it broke. And then, yeah, everything else is broken down in there. So let's get this pulley off and hopefully the new one comes and then I'll be able to replace that. Man, oh man, guys, check out the damage that was caused by this seized up bearing. The bearing seized up and it caused the plastic on the bearing. The bearing basically sits inside of the plastic and because the, pla the bearing seized up, the plastic just got really hot, melted and snapped off. Have a look at that. That is crazy, crazy damage. That is crazy. So I've given EU parts a call and unfortunately they don't have this in stock. So um, if I wait for them, I have to wait until next week. I've called Euro parts as well. Euro part, they don't stock it at all. Um, so that's the bad news. But the good news is I've called my local Mercedes dealership and the one in Stratford, although they don't have it, they were able to tell me that the Mercedes dealership in Loughton, which is about seven to eight miles from here, they have got it in stock. So because I don't want to wait until next week, I really want to just blitz this out today. It looks like it's going to be a trip down to Loughton, grab the parts, get the belt, and then we'll be back here, get it all installed on the car. So it was about 20 minutes later, a uh, 20 minute drive. I'm now at Mercedes and Loughton. I'll leave you guys here. I'll run inside, grab the parts, and then we'll head back to the car. So let go. So I've got some A1 service from the guys over at Mercedes and Loughton. One replacement pulley, one replacement belt. That's the broken pulley. Everything was nice and cheap because I've got a trade account and I even got a coffee. So let's get in the car, get back to the unit, get these installed, get the car out of here. Right guys, so I'm back with the car now. That was a nice fun drive. That's where I get a lot of my parts. Like I said, if I can't get them from Euro or EU parts, sometimes it's just best to bite the bullet and go down to the main dealer for a brand new pulley and a brand new auxiliary belt. I've just paid 68 quid. 68 quid for AMG parts, both the broken parts to get the car ready for today. You can't go wrong with that. So guys, this is my replacement pulley. Have a look at that. Um, the bearing is still inside and it's meant to be able to spin on the bearing like that. So that's the replacement pulley and it comes with a replacement screw, just like so. Compare that with my broken pulley. Oh my God, have a look at that. So we can get rid of these. So now we've got rid of the broken one. This one should just bolt straight on. And then I've got my brand new auxiliary belt to get this on and then we can get the car started up. So this new one is a straight bolt on job and it literally just bolts straight onto the engine like so and then all I need to do is put the screw back in and that goes in right there. Have a look at that. Get that out of the way and as you can see the bearing goes back on the top. All I need to do is screw it in and make sure that it's centered and it's jobs like this that I got my new electric wrench for. So I'm gonna grab the electric wrench because it's getting a bit tight and it's hurting my fingers. So let me grab my wrench. Right 
And there you have it guys, one replacement pulley completely fitted onto the car. It's running smooth, it looks great. Now I need to figure out how I'm gonna fit this belt onto the front of the engine in such a tight space. So let's do that. Right, guys, so I believe that I've done it. Um, it goes around the alternator down there. It comes over one pulley, another pulley, and it carries on and it goes around the power steering pump, um, the alternator, as I said, down there, and just some other pulleys. So I've left my wrench connected. That is the tension and pulley. And what you do when you push it down like that, right, like so, if you can see, it's moving right there, it releases the tension and it allows me to fit it where it needs to go. And then when you release it, it puts the tension back on. So that's why it's a tension and pulley. So I'm gonna remove my wrench and then hopefully start the car and fingers crossed that I've done it the correct way. I'm pretty confident so it should work. So let's test it. Have a look guys, that's the replacement pulley and that is working and as you can see the belt is going around everything that it needs to do and the belt seems to be running very smoothly, everything seems to be working on the belt. So hopefully that should be that when it comes to the belt and the pulley. We're going to pop inside, have a look and make sure that that battery light is not coming up anymore for the alternator and I'm going to leave the car running for a bit so that the battery can get some charge from the alternator now that the belt has been replaced. The next step, I'm going to go inside and I want to tear down the steering column and see what's going on with the steering angle sensor. So, let's check it out. Alright guys. We still have the traction light, it's off. Um, and we still have the airbag light, but that's because of some stuff in the rear. However, we're not getting that battery light to say that the alternator wasn't functioning, which is great. The engine seems to be running fine. I need to top up some of the oils and the water levels and everything, but... It seems to be running fine. Have a listen. This thing is just an absolute beast. But now that the front end is complete, I'm going to be tucking into this bad boy. So I need to remove this, get all of that opened up and remove the steering angle sensor inside and have a look so I can figure out what is wrong and hopefully get it sorted.
Right guys, so I've just taken the car for a short test drive around the local area. I'm happy with my front belt. The auxiliary belt is fine. It's not running off. The engine is working fine. However, there is a lot of power and there's no traction control whatsoever on the car because the system's down. So I don't want to do any more driving until I sort out the traction. In yesterday's episode, I stuck it on to my diagnostics and it says there's an internal fault with the steering angle sensor. So I'm going to remove the airbag, remove the steering wheel, and get to grips with the steering angle sensor, see what's going on. If I can't see anything, we'll have to order a new one. So let's do that. Right guys, so I'm crammed in the back seat. When I went to disconnect the battery just now, I thought to myself, let me have one more goal at sorting out the radio. And I've got good news, check this out. So do you remember I said these orange wires right there, they're part of the data bus and they transmit a red light. Um, it's fiber optics basically. I ordered these connectors and I've connected it all up. And the good news is, have a listen. We've got music. So I'll turn that off, I don't want to get a copyright infringement, but the good news is the radio is now working and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I disconnect this right here, have a look before it goes off, you can see that red light. It's literally looking for the connector. Um, and then basically these little connectors, they just go in like that. It literally just pops into each other like that. And with that connected, it can now send that signal through the light and all the way up to the head unit, which is up there. So with everything working, I'm gonna take this all up, um, put it back in its rightful place. There we have it guys. So I've fixed my data bus system and now my audio is working. Have a look. I'm playing one of my own songs so I don't get a copyright infringement. But now we can continue with sorting out the steering angle sensor. Let's go. So there we have it guys, I've removed the steering wheel and this is the steering column assembly tube as it's called <laughs> by the diagnostics but the steering angle sensor is in here and just at the front section here, that's the steering angle sensor so I can't see anything that's broken to the eye and there's no point digging into this because it's all very, it's microelectronics in there, there's no point going through all of that so we're going to order a new steering angle sensor and then just replace this and hopefully it all works so I'm gonna take a few pictures of the part numbers and then I'll put the old one back on until the new one arrives. So let's do that. Oh yes. Right, guys, I've got my music working. Ooh. It's been a very productive day today. I've fixed my audio system and I've also fixed some st other stuff in the back. I managed to get the part numbers for the steering angle sensor and hopefully that will sort out the traction. Once I sort out the traction, I'll reassemble it, clean up everything in the back, reassemble everything, and then this car can get out of here, man. And then after that, I've got another car coming and then I'm gonna be doing some new builds getting back to my old bills. So if you're liking this kind of content, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're watching, you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button and go take part in the Salvage Nation raffle over on the Access Competitions UK website. Link is down below in the description. Right, I'm absolutely sweating. It's hot, it's a lovely day. I've spent all day on this. Now I'm gonna go enjoy the sun and I hope you guys are enjoying too. And like I always say, keep it moving and I'll see you in the next one.